get there and and then i told them i'm outside so when i go in we literally was there talking busting jokes smoking me this and a third and then i was getting sleepy so i said to him i'm getting sleepy i'm gonna go back home and he was like why can't you stay and i was like cool i'll stay but no funny business sir i'm not with it he was like okay it's fine so then we get in bed and we're lying down or whatever and then he was like can i at least cuddle with you and i was like yeah yeah, yeah that's fine i didn't have no problems with that i was like that's fine and then we cuddled literally he did not try to do nothing which man rated come on you you're a real g <laughs> we cuddled and went to sleep let me just fast forward this part now so obviously you guys get the atmosphere the vibe that we're working with you guys get the vibe and the atmosphere that we're working with he was just treating me like a little dolly and every day i was always with him like he, i like imagine i'm a foreigner i never had to spend money with him and that was just that was i don't know i never i never want him to spend money on me he always used to spend money on me i used to rate him for that because he didn't have to and in time when i tried to do stuff he wouldn't let me like he was just playing the man's role and i could always like you know feed into that or whatever made me forget about my nigga multiple of times so speaking of which this was my last straw with t i was very fed up one night i was meant to go and meet him and he had stood me up in the rain and someone was uh, like some, one of his brethren or someone answered his phone or cousin and tried to tell me he was doing something uh, some cut bullshit that i went buying and i was like that's it this thing no no i don't know it's not happening again okay wrap it up so I used to go to this party um that was kept in the scheme like um it would be talent show and then the party so we're at talent show and i'm with my friends and he's with his people we never really stand with each other because as we said people already had a feeling that we was involved so we tried to avoid that kind of interaction to get me and this one time i stood with my friends and he was literally all i could think about so i was like bitch are you falling for this nigga get your shit together you and your pussy yeah. <laughs> so um i went and found him actually and we were sitting on this wall thing whilst it was crowded bare people was watching the tennis show and he was stood between my legs in front because i was sitting on the wall and he stood between my legs and he was hugging on me whilst in public and we didn't care like and then he was like oh come in and i said to him i shouldn't you know i sh we shouldn't be behaving like that and i was like i don't care what no one's saying same time conveniently t texts me and says to me oh you know like he's letting me know i'm sorry like i love you just unfair blah 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 some bullshit and i read it in my phone and i was like love it back and then he was like what's that about i was like nothing so normally i would tell him but i didn't want to say to him oh yeah you know he's over here trying to tell me love i didn't want to change up the vibe so he then says to me he was like oh then i say your money like he was getting in his little yard man flex telling me how much he rates me and basically was saying to me like you know someone man love you like that like the time that we spent together i didn't even tell you where we are in the months we reached way down way down my friend in august like towards the end of august and um he was telling me oh you know the whole time he spent with me how much he rates me and he never really vibe like this with nobody and the works it's the works he was, he was giving me the works and basically obviously told me how much he rated me in it without using the l word they did use it but let's not get all mushy mushy um and i felt the same so instead of saying i felt the same i just kissed him in front of my people i didn't care and he was gassed when i said smiling he was smiling and then i turned idiot and i didn't like that when i turned idiot because i like a fool so i just wanted to hide like i literally wanted to hide in a little shower i was like loud what are you doing like proper like mushy mushy so anyways i went and sat in the car and i'm like i'm ready to go to this next party because tenant show just finished and we're going to this next party get to the next party you lot and the car's parked up my friend and her nigga jumped out the car and then me and him was in the car and we was chatting so um one thing led to another and um <clears throat> he was lipsing on me and he says 
I gave away the cookies in the car, baby. I gave them away right there in the car, baby. We're not gonna talk about it. But just know I gave the cookies up. So, remember, give it a tease, let me know. And come on, the car, and I felt dirty. <sighs> oh my god. You know, I've gone in the party and I've gone in there with bare attitude. He's gone in there and bought every man liquor. He, when I say celebrating, he is celebrating. Ah, mercy, I was never, I was not, no, that's dead. I'm not celebrating nothing. I was feeling low, trashish. I was feeling some type of weight. I was like, raw, I should have never done this. Why did I let my emotion get the best of me? Big man thing. I was just, I was just very upset. Like, I was, I was mad. So I've stood, I've stood to the side by myself. And that, like, instead of going to the crew of people that I always would be with, I'm still by myself. So he comes over to me and he's like, oh, babe, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, he's like, oh, do you want, do you want ice? Because I don't like to drink at parties. I just eat ice and drink energy juice. So he was like, oh, do you want ice? And I was like, no. And then he was like, do you want Lucas Aid? I was like, no. He's like, are you sure you're good? I'm like, yup. He was like, okay. He went back over there. Then I realised that his mood was kind of changing because he kept watching me like he was like, what's wrong with her? So like he comes over again and he's like, why are you stood here by yourself? And I'm just like, because I want to, what's the problem? Do we have an issue? He was like, no, he's like, why are you being like, I'm not being no type of way, just I'm cool, just love it. Stop watching everything I do. Like, he was like, okay. So then he went back over there now. I think he was, he was bad, like, when I say the party was done, and I was still trying to be there with the last ones because I was going to walk home. I did not want to go with them. I wanted to walk home. I was like, this, that's dead. So, um, I've now started walking with a crew of people. Him and his people that were outside waiting for me, you know, by the car. And because he must have come over to me one time. I was just like, oh, are you locking off the party? I was like, yeah, yeah, I am. Is that a problem? He just kissed his teeth and he was like, yo, fuck the shit, bro. He just went outside and was waiting. So, um, I've come out the party and I start walking with a group of people only to hear my name being shouted down the road by someone and then i'm like yeah what's up jay akalia i'm like oh my god why are you not louding me up bruv allow it bruv so i walked over and i'm like what is it like you were calling me he's like why are you acting funny like he was doing this in front of our friends and he well immediate friends that knew what really was going on so um he was like oh why are you acting funny i was like i'm not he's like but you are and i'm like but i'm not though and then I was like, listen, I'm just gonna go home and after. He said, oh, you see, this is what I'm talking about. But your shit, be able to find out attitude. What's that for? Right? So he started getting mad, like, and I was just like, wow. Okay, then. I just won't left him. And then he started cussing. I heard him, he must have kicked the car. I don't even remember what he did. He got, he threw a tantrum, and I didn't care. I just bounced. I was like, I'm out. And then I left. Cool, I get back to my yard. I told my friend. She was like, what was that about? And I was like, oh, basically, yeah. I smashed. And I'm um, not feeling good about it. So, obviously, I started taking it out on him. And she was like, L yo, when I said she laughed at me, she laughed at me. Anyways, it was long. Um, The next day or so, I think he tried to reach out to me. And I've just been avoiding them, like... So I went to a hotel with my family and these two were both on my line and I started feeling really bad. I was like, oh, like, this one was saying, oh, yeah, you know, they're sorry and they want to do right by me. And then the other one was like, look, I really care about you. You should just give me a chance. Da, 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 da. And I was just really confused. But in all fairness, obviously, I felt bad. So I was like, I'm going back to tea. Like, I was like, yeah, I think it's best if I go back to tea. So I wasn't telling Jay that. I just was airing his messages and stuff and I was in his city so he was like I'm coming I was like don't be weird like just stay home this ain't cute no more like allow it stay at your yard so when I pull it back on the ends now he thought that we was just back to how we were and I was like nope I started acting really funny and then he was like what's your problem why are you acting funny with me and then like one of the time he'd initiated a certain conversation and I just looked at him and I was like you're you're never good you're never gonna touch me like that again ever he was like, what do you mean? Like, he probably got so upset with me. And I was, he was like, oh, what do you mean? And I was like, we're not. 
we're not gonna do that again like nope it was one time it shouldn't happen he was like what do you mean it shouldn't happen i was just like all right cool let's dead this conversation and then i killed it i knew he felt some type of way because i was saying horrible stuff like i felt bad like um <clears throat> i had this phone that i was like i used to take calls for a minute and i had this phone and i need to bring it back to him so he must have messaged me in the morning and said to me oh yeah he was like babe like he's proper trying to act like nothing ever happened we just had one little oh you know sign he was like oh babe can i get that phone i need to make a phone call because i was like yeah, yeah, yeah i want to bring it to you now so i'd come out my house like, i left my breakfast you know to so go drop this phone off because i was like let me just wrap up this whole thing it's a wrap now so I, I, I brought the phone to the yard so when i was at the yard now there was bare man them there so i was angry i was like why is he making me come here when other people are here so like they phoned him and like they would have been like jay jay like come like your girl's here so i aired it i didn't say nothing i just stood there and i'm like cool whatever he was like i'm coming i was there for like 10 to 15 minutes and she still didn't come outside and i was like what the hell so i got angry because they must have called him a second time and he still didn't come he was like i'm coming I just put the phone down on the ground and walked away from it. But when I did that, he had seen my because he was just coming. He had seen when I did it, and his friends had seen when I did it. He jumps to me, gets the phone, he starts walking me down. Not gonna lie, he's got my anger in his voice that shook me. I was, I was trying to get to the yard quick and all quick. So um, whilst I was walking there, now I reached back to my yard. So he started text, he started texting my line like he was texting me everything that he wanted to say. Like he was like, ah. Oh, I said, when I try to talk to you, I'm more funny from the other day, and I don't know what the fucking problem is. And he was just, he was going in. He was going in on me still, I won't lie. All right, that was dessert. Cool. Bam. Why did I get a call from T? And he was like, oh, come over today, we can spend the day together. And I'm like, yeah, I will. I'm going to do that. So I've gone in the shower, I've doored up myself, I look good, friend, dress up, because you don't go for my appointments. So, um, um, same time, my broski was like, your phone keeps popping. You need to get this because it just keeps ringing and it keeps just answering. When I look, this Donnie had must have sent me 33 messages and called me mad times. And every single text message was in caps lock, cussing me out. When I said, I was like, when I seen one of the messages, then, oh, I'm outside, I'm waiting on you, you need to come talk to me now. I'm like, bro, oh. when I look outside, the youth was actually outside, like, he was fully outside my gate and everything, waiting for me to come and chat to him. Um, when I walked out, obviously, I said I was all dolled up to go somewhere. When I walked out, I don't even feel me, he was like, forward, gone. He walked over to the, the next yard over there, the neighbour's yard, and that's his family's people in there, so... I went over there. When I went there, I couldn't find him. So I walked in the house. I saw um, a family member there. I was chatting to them. And a f like my friend, who's his family as well, was there and I was chatting to them. And he must have saw me. So where he was stood and where I was stood, they couldn't see his facial expressions. And he couldn't say nothing to me because they were there, if you know what I mean. So I decided I'm not moving because he looks, he looks angry. So I'm like, I'm not moving this long. So um, he'd moved and I'd gone to the back room. I got to the back room now with my friend now. Um, he come to the window. He was like, yo, where you going? I was like, I'm going to Spanish Town to do something. No, I said, no, I never told him. I was like, I'm, I'm going on the road. He's like, where are you going? I said, I'm going on the road. I'm like, what the fuck? He's checking me, you know, big check. So I was like, um, I'm going on the road. What the hell? He was like, yeah, but myself, wish by, where are you going? Like, wish by Iago, wish by Iago. So I said, I'm going on the road. Like I was determined not to say where I was going because I was cooking up something in my head, but I couldn't come up with it on the spot like that. He was like, oh, you think someone I eat it? You think someone I know say I'm money, I go. You think someone I know say why I go? I was just like, wait, what? Why is he moving crazy? Anyways, my friend that was in the room, she was laughing. Like she was up. Like, Anyways. I was getting shook because I was thinking the way how he's giving the energy he's giving off is like he would just floor me any minute now. Like he would just floor me. And I was like, bro, I've never seen that side to him. Imagine, do you get what I mean? So um I've gone, I've gone outside now. He's like, because he said to me, come outside, I want to talk to you. So I was like, cool, I waited for a bit. 
um, I went outside. He was sitting down on one like cool shade little stone or whatever. So I went over there. When I went over there now, um, I'd like bend down to his level or whatever. I was talking to him. He's like, yo, why have you been, why have you been acting so funny from the other day? And he's like, oh, what, like, do you want me to beat you up or something? Like, he was like, is that the type of style that you like? And I was just like, what? No, what are you talking about? But I was giving attitude. Like, I was actually, he was talking to me calm and I was giving him attitude and I was being rude. And then he must have, he slapped me on my mouth. And my mum's life, he slapped me on my mouth and he got me really angry because you know that when you're a little kid and your parents slap you on your mouth and you can't lick them back, like you're just angry, like you want to fight. That's exactly what he did to me. But I, I was like, oh, don't touch me again, big man, because now it's going to be a problem. Don't put your hands on me, innit? And then he was like, I'm asking you where you're going. And I said to him, I'm going to Spanish Town. Is that a problem? I'm going to do something for my mum. He was like, oh, so why didn't you say that from before? And I was like, because I didn't feel like I needed to say that to you. Then he was like, okay, cool. When you leave here, you better answer your phone when I phone you. Like, it's just moving mad. I was like, okay, um, sure. And then when I left, as I walked off, I blocked him. Blocked him everywhere. Every number blocked. Cool, I've gone to my man's house. So, you know, we've done the works now, the whole nine yards, and I drop asleep. And when I wake up, I have two phones here. Yeah? When I wake up, my nigga has one of my phones in his hand. And he's sitting at the edge of the bed. So I'm thinking he's he he knows now that he's gonna punch me up. When I get up, he kisses me. He's like, "Oh, babe, you know, um, um, you did drop asleep, so I let you sleep." Rare, 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 and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's fine, no problem." So I'm thinking, "Oh, he's not mad. He don't know nothing." The youth goes and um, kisses me, and then he's like, "Oh yeah, your other phone. It was ringing. One private number kept calling, but I just turned it off because I was thinking this is our private uh, our time, like our." our intimate time so i was just like babes i just love you come here like i was like you tell him when i was kissing him i was like oh my god let me tell you this now had t answered the phone and jay was on the line <laughs> let me just let me just put it this way i don't think he would have backed that like, he weren't gonna back down like he weren't gonna have it he weren't gonna have it and then I would have got stabbed up in my sleep or something. Anyways, I went back to the end that day. And obviously, I saw Jay with his friends. And I would pass and his friends had said hi to me. His friends had said hi to me. And... Yes, chance. Yes. Huh? What? What? The mama shoes. Okay, then go look for your shoes. His friends had basically said hi to me, and I said goodnight to them. I called each of them by name, and then I just aired him. And I know he felt some type of way because he didn't even say anything. Like he just watched me walk by, and he didn't say anything because he. I think he. To be honest. I did him bad, I won't lie. I won't lie. But guys, yeah, that was my story. I don't want to go into it anymore because it gets even more complicated. I guess I can tell you guys about that another time if you guys want to know. Anyways, that's it. That's it for story time. No, seriously though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm just keeping it real. I was telling my truth. I hope you guys can respect it. Um, if you like it, just a thumbs up. If you don't, then you don't. Anyways, love you guys.